Irish Shop is fairly new, so it's kind of, we're developing the sound as we go along kind of thing. Yeah. And it's, you know, we're trying to be as original and base it on air lawyers and where we've come from. <laughs> We'll still have the American influence slightly, maybe in like the handshakes or you know the hand signs doing the class A's and stuff with that and all, because it's American and you grow up watching that, so you're going to emulate these other rappers. The difference between the us and Westlife is Westlife will get a song and they'll re-sing it. We'll take a bit of the song and we'll just create a totally new tune. We run everything ourselves, like from writing the song to even production, mastering and printing pressing albums. We get our own gigs, we get very little support from anyone else. Anyone who's anyone in Irish hip hop has probably recorded their album on mixtape here, but this way we do everything, this little setup. Pretty much all we need, you know? Get the music off the ground. I'm just a poet like Kavanaugh, though I'm probably better off now than in the times of my mind. I'm hungrier than Bobby Sands. I've put in a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort. And I want that big payday back. I want the number one, I want the awards, I want the accolades, I want people to say, here you go, Reza, you made it. Like, that's, that's the goal. Hate authority, hate the guard, hate politicians, hate teachers, hate fucking people that go around clamping cars, I hate anyone that thinks they have a little bit of authority. Is it Ender Kenny ever had to choose between medication or food? No. You know the way, so what does he know when they're making these, these like cuts and stuff like that and all, it doesn't affect them, that's what pisses me off. Put me in there because I know what it's like to literally have no money. I've, I've been on the bones of my arse. I've went without food for three or four days, you know that way, growing up, I, I've done that. And the Kenny and all these politicians and all who have gone to college. Yeah, they've got to college. College doesn't teach you how to fucking pick between medicine or food or drugs or whatever you are into. You know, they don't know anything about the, the realness of the country. I mean, they talk about Ireland as it's this sort of like, oh, Ireland. No, Ireland is it's a dying country, you know, that way. And there's not, they're not doing enough to, to fucking save us. You know, so, and we're not doing enough to save ourselves either. So this country, modern Ireland saddens me. It saddens me, it does. Next year, I want to have a number one, at least one number one. Like that's, I mean, we've been number one to download charts and stuff like that now, but it's not good enough. We want, we want an actual number one, and uh, we're not going to stop until we get it. It's me, Gareth, and 24th birthday party. I think she's kind of at the end of our soundness now where she's, yeah, all right, fair enough, I've done this enough, I've fucking shit up for four, four years now. It's uh, it's just getting hard to justify. I mean, I'm living with my mate now at the minute, but the two of us are living in my mate's house. You know what I mean? We need our own, we should have our own house. Yeah, we should be fucking out walking and earning a proper living. They're no fucking idiots. They know what they want, they know what they can achieve, and they will do what they want to do. Because these are slippery guys that know what he wants, know what he wants to do, and know what he fucking will do. Where's our fancy girl? Come on down, let's start! Congratulations and celebrations. I'm not an emotional person. If she left me, she'd have her reasons and she, she's more than, she'd probably be better off. She, she could do better, to be honest with you. I, I'm not even gonna fuck her. I don't understand if she left me, to be honest with you. No, well, most blokes will, but I think I'm a different breed. I'm, I'm just too logical. I don't deal with emotions. I don't do emotion, I do logic. So if she left me, I totally understand and wish her the best. But I don't think she will. I'm just kidding.
just too good in bed. Just want to say a special thanks to my boyfriend, Redzer. Okay. And um, just for my mom and dad, I just have a special thanks. Um, just for my mom and dad there. Shit! We fucked up! Hold on a second. I have one thing to do, two things to do. Show up on time, fucked it up. Get the presents for the parents, fucked it up. So yeah, Esther might leave me. I don't blame her and uh... I don't know what happened! I didn't know. I didn't get the memo! Well done Esther, and well done to mommy and daddy as well, okay. Well I suppose the only thing left to do is... Maybe I have to slip a coin even and say, right, heads, heads are wrapped, tail are walking. Because I have to do something to her. She's being not overly patient. You know, that's that way, and I, kind of, I don't want to be taking advantage of that as well, like, but I can't stop doing it. It's like, it's like heroin, you know what I mean? Hip-hop is like heroin. Once you start doing it, you're hooked. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, what's good, cocks in here? You know you want to hear that sound. When I hear the name drop Rebel Faction, all you want to hear is Keeping it right. Lord, they got me people with me. They got respect, they got love. When we meet in the street, we slap hands and half hope. When they hear that beatbox drop, we spit the rhyme on the spot. And then they stop and get prayers and spoils from the lot. It'll be my tunes you hear when your boards fall jingles. They paint pictures, great stories. You'll be telling your children. I like to be the high energy rapper, you know, fast styles and rhythmic flows. And then sometimes I like to just, you know, just kind of be a bit more soulful, like, and just kind of, you know, put my feelings on a song, like, you know. I'm a maniac, step up on the mic with a crazy track, and I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling, and I'm gonna start revealing every single little thing that's in my brain, in fact, yeah. Let me tell you how it is, every day I'm paranoid, like a schizophrenic, but I keep on doing what I do to the day that I'm six feet deep, even though sometimes I feel pathetic, but turn it up the level, I turn it up the notch. I'm about to tell you how I'm feeling, and I'm gonna start revealing every, whoa, wait, made a mistake, come back through with the verse and say, yeah. when I come true, man, man, I go, okay, when I drop yeah. it, like, here we go, oh, yeah. <laughs> When I first started out, there was no one really rapping around. It was more kind of like, you're a rapper, like, you know, are you for real kind of a thing. I could jump in on that straight away, like, yeah, green, sort of proof, eyes disguised as you, left dreaming, automatic, cardiac arrest, chest bleeding, yeah. Yeah, big up that one in man, serious. Go for that? Yeah. Okay. It is very united in Cork, like everyone sticks together, everyone kind of throws each other a hand, like, you know. I wouldn't say so much when it comes to collaborating, but when it comes to, like, friendship, or when it comes to, like, you know, you're all right, like, you know, you're, you're, you're in the hip-hop scene, like, you know. Well, let's, let's all get along. Go on, I'll just do this r rough anyway. Yeah. Automatic cardiac arrest, chest bleeding, flesh eating, dead demons inject semen in the women of today so the kids we get are evil. So hop on it and bop along it, you cockaholic. I come with knowledge, my kids are going to college. My first time hearing hip hop was the Dr. Dre stuff, like, and I was just like, this is banging, like, you know, this is what I'm, this is what I'm about, like, you know. I just love the beats, I love the lyrics. That was the main thing, the lyrics, like, you know, it was the style that, that, that the rappers had. My friends wouldn't be into hip hop, they wouldn't enjoy it, like they wouldn't listen to it. They'd be like, yo, 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 do a rap there, boy, you know, that kind of shit, like, you know. And just basically what we do when we're making a track, you know, we just put the beat on. We don't even talk to each other. We just, we just put, put the beat on, really, and yeah. just flow, like, you know. Don't mean nothing, cos there's something in life. Open your eyes, focus the climb. After I make the album and stuff, like, we'll do a few videos, maybe. You know, it's all about reaching a certain standard, like, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna keep going until I have a certain standard that I'm just that even the world is happy with, like that people are can turn around and be like, fucking hell, Boney, Cork City, Irish MC, he's good. Fionn Gloss, I remember learning what that meant very young. Pure stream. Contradiction is the truth is where the secrets are kept. <laughs> nothing is real, nothing exists. Just the projection of your perception. It's cerebral eclipse, deepening determinedly despite dangers. Yet the contradiction is the truth is where the secrets are kept. Though subliminally 
untouchable still corruption encroaches my vicinity principally indestructible not specifically allegorical surreptitiously metaphorical contradict orderly abhorrible love and hate breed in close proximity faith hope and charity three theological virtues man is the protagonist of his own epic journey and a feminine trinity grace visual but realistically cynical She's when i was 17 i remember asking one of my friends i used to hang around with him are we poor? It just dawned on me one day, I said, are we poor? What do you think? That's what he said. And I just didn't know. And I started to realise, this, these realisations dawned on me about classism and stuff like that. But I had not realised I had been virgin to that idea, to that uh, stigma that was attached to us because of where we were from. What's her name? Right, she, then. My nanny, that's my nanny, Margaret Harrington. Yeah. She's deceased now. Mar what's it? Right, she, What's your second name? Kavanagh. Martina Kavanagh, right? What do you want me to rap about? With what now? What do you want me to rap about? Any topic, anything? Fingless. Rap? Fingless? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right, <laughs> rap about. To let someone in on a very, very special thing, so that's what it brings, that's what Fingless brought to my artistry, to allow people in artistically. Yeah, peace of mind doesn't come at a clear price The systems determined by the rolling of the dice Chancing your arm and leg on being eligible Swallowing the welfare's demands like they were edible What drives to drink and drugs but this romance We're in love and engrossed with our foes We've got no chance Called myself temper, hyphen mental When I was 14, when I was in front of that mirror You know, rapping And uh, then, I, when, as I say, when I was 19, miscellaneous and that was all knitted to where I came from, who I was, and referring to school, being that young person, not wanting to go to school, fighting against the system, uh, you know, um, not wanting to be squashed into a role, you know, that society was drawn up from me. Collecting medicine, it hurts on every revolution. Your world stops turning psychological pollution, staring us in the face, but we dare not look. Divert our attention, reality we cannot brook. You're blameless, you're pure. Your intuition's not wrong. Beneath that is truth, deep is where it should belong. It gets oppressed by confusion, doubt, prejudice. So long that it's a distant memory on which we reminisce. Simplify to succeed from fear, you will be freed. I need your ears to tell my voice. Let this rhyme plant a seed. Very good. Go on, the boys. <laughs> That's very good. We got one of them very good. <laughs> I don't want to down that very good. What did you make of that? Lovely. Brilliant now. Very good. Oh, it's very good now. I enjoy that. Yeah? Very good. My friend, tell me fair play to you. Oh, nice one, thank you. Fair play to my new. Hi. How are you? Grand. You well? Yeah, no worries. Yeah, have that milk there. Cheers. Getting the brews on? Well, I have that on for you, so choo choo. Feel free. Hmm. I must have left school when I was 17 or 18, wasn't it? 18. 18. So that's seven years ago. Eight years ago. It's scary. Yeah, it really is. Since I left school, um, well, I didn't have a great leave insert when I left school, so I, was I didn't really know what I was going to do. Like. And um, in that time, my ma's friend was getting her hair done in the hairdressers. And uh, for some reason, they just said that they were looking for staff to, to hand the CV in. So I did, and, and then they gave me an interview, and I got a job. They took me on. So I just fell into hairdressing and done that for about four or five years. But then I realised that I, I, it wasn't really what I wanted to do, and I wouldn't have a career in it, so I just kind of left it. I've done a fair bit, but it's all kind of rinky-dink, you know? Nothing really for a career. What was the worst of those jobs? Sky. I would have to be selling Sky door to door. You go, you go out, and you go, you go out, and you hit the street about uh, two or three o'clock, and then you're just walking around. You have your list, and you're knocking into doors. You have your little area, you list, you knock into doors, and nine people out of ten are just miserable. I, I lost all, all faith in the general public in that job. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting it back, but the general public are unbelievable. Like, you know, you're just knocking in to sell a bit of sky and the abuse you get off some people and all, and just a uh, rigmarole, you know. He's always, always been very content in his own space and in his own skin. He doesn't 
never, never really did need anybody to enhance what he was doing. He was, weren't you very comfortable? Always, yeah. yeah. Always. As far as I can remember, anyway. The hairdressing. I, 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 I wouldn't say I enjoyed the actual, the actual job of hairdressing, but everybody I worked with, I really liked. I got along with really well. Everybody, all the Owens and all that came in, the grannies and all coming in for their blue rinses and all, all of them were lovely as well. You know, they used to really be real nice to me. Like, you left such, are so close to being qualified as a hairdresser. Yeah. You were almost there and you left before you got it. Mm. I am the best in Europe, quite possibly the world. Uh, pro Evolution Soccer, yeah. Ah, fiend for it though, you know, you waste away hours just sitting there like you look at your clock, it's 12 o'clock at night and then you look at your clock again, it's 4 o'clock in the morning and you've, you've done nothing, you're still sitting in the same place like this is the nest, yeah? This is where I, I hang around most of my time. Uh, my ma, my ma wouldn't want just coming in here, you know, but sure, this is what it's all about, you know? Letting you into the, the, the life, the mind, the big soil, you know? That was a flyer. See that flyer there? That was the first real flyer I had with my name on it. So I had to rob it off the door. Obviously, like, I loved the L rapping and all. I always wanted to do it, but I never honestly believed that Irish people were and could do it until I was on the YouTube and I seen the likes of Reds and the Class A's and all. They'd be the first real Irish hip hop I seen in, in a video, a music video, or on a, on a like, in, doing a set kind of thing, you know? So that was the first time I really realised, like, oh, yeah, like, we can, we can do this, like. I know, yeah. Shadows. Make sure you see it. Right, come on. Not too bad, you must have seen it. Not too bad, yeah. Not too bad, yeah. What's going on in fucking Jeebus town? Yeah, you know, we're just going to do a video, you know, you know, to, to express a... Uh, How do you get that t-shirt now? Yes, I've got a t-shirt. Oh, sorry. Couldn't, couldn't afford a scarf as well. You should. How are you going to do it? Like, I'll just be like, cock suck and he's just come out here to leave it out or something. Just drop it in about halfway or something. Do I just appear or do you Yeah, just everything? jump for it. I get right into the lens a bit. Come on, what would new we do? In this rhyme and culture, most wanted, Lord, it's mine since the FBI caught what you bulge out every line, it's holy vulgar. Better be for that, he's cocksucking motherfucker. Here, Terra, leave it out. The real life shit, you're just stuck in a movie, class A, red Terra, and new, even though the buff and the do be built. That's exactly how we got it. <laughs> <laughs> the first rap I ever wrote was years and years ago with one of my mates, and we done it in the big American accent buzz at all, and we had it on a little radio yoke and all, but see, I don't speak of that, because uh, we don't like to, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> <laughs> and if that tape ever surfaces, like, I am in trouble, you know what I mean? But see, I was, only <laughs> I was only 14 or 15 at the time, but I snapped out of that, you know what I mean? I'm now 25, so if you're rapping an American accent, there's still time, you'll snap out of it and you'll grow up. And if you ever hear them tunes, just say you're rapping in American accent and you hear them tunes when you're 25, you're gonna go, what the fuck was yeah. I doing, man? <laughs> what was I doing, you know what I mean? You're gonna be embarrassed. So just Quit now. stop it. Please, stop it. <laughs> Give it over. So that was your first rap. That was your first rap. Up next, we're gonna bring Manamana to the stage, everybody. So one time for your mind, make some noise for Manamana. What's good, what's good, what's good, make some noise. What's good, what's good, Mathematic Rebel Faction, Genesis, Rebel Faction. Make some noise for Genesis. I'm here with Mathematic, he's just been dropping some bars. I was just always into hip hop, man, and the more I got into it, like, the more it developed, started writing, like, and, you know, at first it's just for the laugh or whatever, and you're just doing songs for the lads and having a bit of a crack, and then kind of got more serious, started doing tracks, recording, you meet up, link up with people, and I don't know, I think the same as most people in the country kick it off, you know what I mean? Like, just you start for the love, like, and we keep doing it for the love, because there ain't much money in it in this country, I tell you that much. But, yeah, that's about it. Should drop knowledge on the survival shit, man. You yeah. know, with your intro and stuff and how the music Yeah, and that's it, true. Really. Yeah, because I was about, i say, about 14, I was diagnosed with cancer, man, and I was stuck at home for a couple of months with nothing better to do, which is the pen and a pad, you know what I mean? Mm. Started writing that stuff, like, you know, 
after that just came out like and just so much stuff written like I just had to keep with it like kept going with it you know what I mean like it's like when you're forced with nothing else to do like stick with it like and ever since then been killing it since word up he's a horse when it comes to the work like you yeah. know what I mean you know the time that I've known him and we've been getting stuff done like he's after dropping like two mixtapes like and I'd be there writing away and I'd be spitting verses to him and stuff and we'd always say, yeah, you got to record that shit and I'd be like, yeah, 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 and I'd be saying it to him and of course he's the work horse league so he'd be off and he'd have his albums done and they're pretty dope. Really. You can't help but bitch, that's why you hate the past. Yeah, like I'm sure the next few months there's probably going to be something that I, you know, I'm going to set my mind to and I'm going to, you know, start working on a new project but at the moment I'm just loosey-goosey, you know what I mean? Like it's all good, so... I think while the momentum's building, just like all the artists in the country, just to shout out to them to keep it going, you know what I mean? Because if you slack on this and it starts to die off, you know what I mean? It's going to take another few years to get it going again. So while we have the momentum, stick with it, boys. Let's go. One little thing before I kick into the next tune, yeah? Check this out, yeah? Hip hop vigilante come to give you while it's slapping Cause these weirdos even wanna imitate the fucking accent You're the dummy MC Rap about the Mooney MC I laugh at the funny MC Never on a stage with a rapper like me And you never on a track with the real MC Kick that shit, kick that shit Yeah, this goes out to the L one I love the L one, I love him Yeah, I'm never moving out I'm never moving out Yo! Imagine this, so you're showing love to these cabbages. My family, they love it, like, they're very supportive of me, you know? My ma's very proud and all that, like, eh. Uh... Well, she never seen me really big into art, never, you know what I mean? And now she says that I'm mad into the rap. She not, obviously knows that I really like it and all, so she's just happy, you know what I mean? Have these dumb little rappers carry on like Kanye West? Talk about the clones and they think it that is proper. They talk about the money and they haven't got a washer. He absolutely loves it. He's in his own little world when he's up on stage. It's, to me, it's where he belongs. I can't bank on the rap making me rich, you know, so I have to have a plan B, like, and the hairdressing didn't really work out with me, so. There is a deadline to my patience. The days I numbered. And I'm actually trying to be extremely polite. Yeah, yeah. your days are actually numbered. Because I'm definitely, my firm belief is, as a mother, I am not doing you any favours by allowing you to stay here. It's keeping you sheltered, it's keeping you cocooned, you're not learning anything. You're not growing as a person. Yeah. All I'm enabling you to do, when I really think about it, is to keep you unmotivated. Well, essentially, that is what you're doing, yeah. I'd say, like, if you had have kicked me, not kicked me out, but done this when I was 22, where would I be now? After three years of it, you know? Yeah. I could be in a completely different place. Absolutely, but... You're not putting the blame on the... I'm not accepting the blame. <laughs> under no circumstances. Blame, no. Now, hold on. Yeah. There was the slight twist. No, I'm just the, saying. No, I'm just saying. not accepting it. I will not take it on board. Yeah, no, you shouldn't Okay, but that. at the moment, I don't think I am doing you any favours. No. In actual fact, I know I'm not doing you any favours. Yeah. You need to be out there and yeah, no, make yourself sink or swim. Most of the newer stuff is sort of geared away from the street mentality and it's on a positive uplifting tip, but at the same time, we're just, we're vocalising what we know, you know, what we've seen, what we've experienced and things like that. And if people don't like it for what it is, well then they, they, they have no business listening to it, but it's for people. Like there's an awful lot of people that will be able to relate to it and they're the ones, funnily enough, that consider themselves fans of the music we make. It's called Out Straight and it's about being out straight. Sometimes you might get in trouble for it, sometimes you might get credited for it, but I think that'll be uh, one of the main attributes of my personal is being out straight. It's also one of the most commonly used slang words in Dublin City at present. You know what I mean? Or 
that way it was lovely piled out straight, you know what I mean? It's like a confirmation or something, you know what I'm saying? Up on the spot, in units on the street, like emergency response, mathematics equals pennies for my cars, for my whole thought process. Collect With the second album, all I'm looking to achieve is the way, is to continue building off the foundation that I did on part one, you know what I mean? That's it, I don't care how many it sells. Like if it, if it meant giving them out for free, it'd be nice to break even, you know what I mean? Throw a couple of quid down, to get the ab made up and then it'd be nice to make that back but if it comes to giving it away for free to get it to the people who need to hear it you know what I mean, I'll do that. Salute with them and they're contemplating the conversation. If only one man sees the real and the whole congregation to project wasted well at least that's when I don't need the beach. LV for your most There's um, too many doing it with an eye for success and I mean, my personal opinion is if you're making music solely with the intent of being successful, more often than not, you're not going to be successful. Like, I don't have it? no substance to it, no substance whatsoever yeah. in the music. You turn it on, and for hip hop, we listen to hip hop to get something from it, you know what I mean? To get knowledge, wisdom, you know what I mean? That's what's based around for me, listening to hip hop all these years. We research a lot of that stuff, and we research yeah. a lot into our tunes and make sure that when we're not saying, like what we're saying can be contradicted and stuff like, like that. It's so all good making music for fun, you know what I mean? But the fact of the matter is, life, all of life isn't fun. So if you're acting like it is on tracks, you're not being true to yourself then, you know what I mean? Start your things that's already. Like sensei, they left us with the blueprints. The old cars got well for all the people on the sugar mystery is sneaking. Their image is the same as the newspaper. It's a commercial image, you know what I mean? We get graphic and we go in and we know how this shit works, you know what I mean? It's, it's like the real the realism, what we said before, it's the realism. Boys live in a fantasy world, you know what I mean? That totally odd, you know what I mean? <laughs> you leave it at that. <laughs> Keep it real, keep it real. <laughs> Big hi -o. All right, Chief. Well, be done, be. You well? well I What's the crack on? Fuck off, fuck off, where you come from? Just to get scratch. Yeah. Happy terror, happy terror, yeah. Happy days, happy days. Sneak a point there, man. Uh, what if, what if? Did you hear the buzz? What oh, buzz? Melvin out with you. The two years? Yeah. Well, Me no, and the little bro, while Melvin played, well, we have a few gaffes to view now in the next couple of days, but ah, the other one's in, in my ear and all, you know, you just have to get out of the gaff, it's fucking too much, like, you know what I mean? Happy days. Finally, you know. You're gonna get a little setup. Definitely, yeah. Get a Definitely, setup, man. Save you the fucking the trips and all that shit. Later. Ah, man. If I had my own setup, like I'd be able to just anything I get, I, like I think of, I'd be able to write a record it and straight away bang yeah. it out that night or whatever. I wouldn't have to be like just cut the middleman out, you know yeah. what I mean? And I just have complete freedom to do whatever I want. Unbelievable, the dopes representing the scene. I'ma hit you all hard, make a mess of your team. No beat around the bush, I'ma beat your ugly mush. Cause the lyrics that you spit are just far too much. You can't take. Tell me, what about there is a bit of a feud in Irish hip hop, isn't there? Yeah, not a feud. There's, there's a, uh, rumblings of a feud, alright. I mean. I don't know. Uh, well, like, well, what type, what type of credible artist or, or musician or fucking actor or any anything like would get into something not to bleed and try make money and make a living out yeah. of it? I can't wait to meet a plumber that gives me fucking free for <laughs> yeah, free. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, mate, what are you doing? Do you know what I mean? I'm not keeping it real. Keeping it real. <laughs> keeping give, it real give me yeah. some free fucking plumbing. Do you know what I mean? Fuck heat me that. up, man. Heat me up, man. Do you know what I mean? Bring me that heat. Bring me that heat. <laughs> bring the heat. Bring the heat. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, man. It's fucking mad, yeah. And that's what we are, that's what we are dealing with. There is no beef. I don't think I'd even entertain beef. Because at the end of the day, beef has to be real. And especially if these fuckers are going around talking about all oh, this real shit, real shit, the beef has to be real. If you don't like my songs, that's not real beef. That's not that's you not liking my songs. Where's the beef? Yeah. You know that sort of way? If you're going to talk all oh, this, keep it real shit, keep it fucking real. You know what I mean? So yeah, people may not like me, but fuck them. I don't like them back and that's it. You know what I mean? I don't need to take it to a track. I don't need to fucking, don't even need to call out names. People know who they are. You know what I mean? People know who I'm talking about and you're a shite bag, you know what I mean? Like you're a fucking shite bag, you're talking. At the end of the it. day, at the end of the day, I'm trying to make money out of this and I'm being fucking honest about it's the whole right, thing. Yeah, I want to make money. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that I'm not trying to make money off it. Well, I am because if I fail, I fail. And people know I failed. Yeah. Fuck it. 
You know what I mean? If I, I'm trying to make money and if I don't make money, people know I failed. Fuck it, at least people know what I was trying. That's it. And I'm, that's I'm it. being totally fucking totally honest, 100%. Yeah. All right. Intelligence in the place for the next few minutes. I want you to raise the fucking roof, make some noise. Come on. The first ever to rock shit <coughs> out in a proper Dublin accent, I held in the back, and it just sounded grimy, sounded gully, you know what I mean? At the and time just, he uh, came out, everybody at the time he came out that was in all this rap, I saw the novelty acts, like they were on the radio rapping comedy shit. And he was the first MC that came out with that realism. It made the same kill to be from North Dublin. Around the lunatics house, lunatics, mother Bernie is in there. We have a cup of tea ready for this house. Hello. Uh, how's it going, Bernie? Yeah, all right. How you doing? All right. Sorry. This house is the origins yeah. of where the shit popped. This is where it all started. Because without this, we right. wouldn't be down where I'm down now, and I don't think these lads would either. Cold enough yet? <laughs> Daniel was hilarious, he was funny, he was everything really you could say about him. Like, I know he's my son, but everyone loved him. He was born with a condition and he knew, um, but we thought that he'd only have to have surgery every so often as he was growing until he was 21 and then that would have been it. That's what we thought. We didn't know that he was going to end up so sick. These prejudging bastards are tripping like they're on shrooms. The word he uses the walls of your bedroom. Fucking college faggots spending the day on the website bitching about rapping but never touch the mic. The age that he died was like um, 25. You know, Tupac was, you know what I mean, 25. Biggie was 24, you know what I mean? That's like an age that a lot of hip hop pioneers passed away at, you know what I mean? I see that dance in that same category, you know what I mean? Dance a hip hop legend now. You know, we, we do what we're doing to wear. Uh, to sort of keep his legacy alive. Black magic, yeah, yeah. Black magic. Do the man, man, proudly. Like. I'm out Dublin City for all you people, and I'm out Dublin City how it is, yeah? They're keeping Daniel's spirit alive by doing it. When I see them on stage, or when I know they're doing stuff, I feel that Daniel is with them all the time. And even though he might be with them on the stage himself, he's with them in spirit. Okay, here we go. This is the, the house here. Little Let's make our way into the kitchen there. That's nice big kitchen, man. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a good sized kitchen. It's a shared kitchen with the, the, the other guys in the house. There's a lot of people living here. There's two other people in the house. They're both students, so it's it's a sort of a student accommodation, if you like. Right, right. Um, but your kitchen is all sort of fully equipped. You have a dishwasher, washing machine, dryer. And your cooker as well uh, there. So every, everything a young man all, needs. All well. the mod cons. All the yeah. mod cons. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing yourself? Are you are you working? Well, or? I'm a, I'm a shield myself as well, but I do a bit of rapping as well. You know. Okay. So hopefully the hopefully the rapping will pay pay me rent. You know what I mean? This is the yeah. single room here. This room is actually at three hundred per month. Three. Just three hundred. Yeah. Right. The year coming up is just work hard, work hard, work hard. You know, just keep writing music, recording music, releasing it. Just always working, trying to get as many gigs as I can. Just always trying to keep me face, keep me name in people's mouths, and just keep grafting. You know what I mean? That's, that's all I can do. So you're only up the road from from well, where your mother is, or is it? That's right. Yeah. yeah, sure. I'm only down the road in Ardmore and Artane. Like right. Okay. So uh, it'll take nothing to go down with a bag yeah, of washing. Yeah, so I'll be going yeah. down every week to get me dinner anyway. You get know? your dinner. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> bring, 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 bring the, the washing with you. Bring the washing with me. Yeah. <laughs> Open it up, let it loose, what's trapped and hidden The heartbeat of our city is an unrelenting rhythm That's held to the hardship we all can bind By rhythmic speech, identify our shared decline Open it up, let it loose, what's trapped and hidden The heartbeat of our city is an unrelenting rhythm That's held to the hardship we all can bind By rhythmic speech, identify our shared decline That's nice. it, nice. nice That's it, what is that? It's the hook It's the hook I'm learning hook. <laughs> It's the hook, yeah 
Yeah. Even though we don't. Even though we project. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, and it, <clears throat> it doesn't go deeper to just, you know, rapping it. It goes deeper than that. You know, you're promoting. You're promoting a message. You know, delivering it with power and energy and strength yeah. and everything in you and that's why it's probably important for you to develop your persona your character your right so give yourself a name give that verse a title give it a title give birth to it so affected by poverty can't afford to spend time outsiders view it as one dimensional as resorting to crime too tight fisted to give to ourselves but it's not born agreed it's from adapting to fifty cup fine for life why no clear feeding the need the start when you first listen to irish rap was like you don't know whether to smile or whether to go, Jesus, that's dead me. But if you listen to the lyrics of it, it's it's got a deep meaning to it. It's got more of a meaning than rapping about cars. Bitches <laughs> and money. Yeah. Convince myself I'm reflecting deep when I'm lost in a stare. I can't handle reality. I don't want to be facing life. I believe in anarchy, but I'm too busy chasing strife to apply principled ideas to my routine. Scared not out of cowardice, but because we're human beings, Mother Nature will suffice and God will provide survival mode. We just mimic behavior, can't comprehend do as you're told. Because our mothers were busy with strains of womanhood profound. We learned that silence is golden, hypersensitive to every sound. A combination of a dishonest environment, but a surplus of woe. So much falseness, the extinction of imagination is a requirement, putting a time limit upon us to grow. If I came off stage and someone was to say, oh, your, your outfit or your club or your, you look massive and whatever, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, did you hear what I was saying? What is it? Systematic parasitic public psychosis. My spirit knows no gender, or colour, or race, or creed. It doesn't know, it doesn't care. And that's what I'm transmitting. What is it? I have no idea. Systematic. I'm up as well, then, Lily. <laughs> Sometimes I find it a bit hard, like, because I usually just kind of, like, I ho I'm, I'm hoping that, like, you know, he starts, like, you know, getting, like, money, you know, from it, like, and it would be great if. That did happen, but at the moment, I'd be just kind of thinking like, oh, you know, is it gonna happen? And how long do we have to wait for it to happen? Do you know that way? And um, go and get a jolly red bastard. Yeah, like, well, sometimes I do get those days where I do kind of question them on it and say like, when are you gonna go out and get a job or whatever? But every every year I think I do. Every year next year it's that it's all or nothing and then the year ends and then it's next year and then the year ends and it's next year that's been the recording cycle but i think now uh I, 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 most determined this is the, the the most i've ever felt like it's time to quit if it is going to happen it's, it's going to happen now because i'm saying four years of i couldn't put much more than i have into it and i was still literally fucking nowhere so, uh, you know, this crushes you emotionally, physically drained, fucking, your mind just constantly trying to think of lyrics and punchlines and with this person like that. And then you're putting yourself out there to be criticised and judged and, you know, people make fun of you and say, you just still do it. Like, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, like, but I still, still do it. Uh, and it's, 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 the, it's the fucking... It's, it's it's so hard, you know, because even when I'm, so I'm when I'm trying to tell people this, I I, I could see people and do this because I'd be that I'd be the sort of fuck on the other end of the screen going, then just quit, you fucking idiot. You know what I mean? If you're not happy doing it, just quit. But it's addictive. Yeah, it is, and it's it's it, you can't can't stop. I, 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 and so the dream is to to be able to keep doing this rest of my life, and and as I not make. Billions. I don't want to be. I don't want to be P Diddy. I'm, I'm, I'm a simple man. Give me a foot. Once my rent is paid, my mortgage is paid, and I'm not struggling with bills. And that's, that's the dream, man. That's the dream, right there. Making channels and not struggling with, you know, what I mean? with bills and stuff like that. And I'll be able to, be able to, like I mean, even that sort of thing. Be able to take you out to places, you know, that sort of way, and not have to go half. <laughs> you know that sort of yeah. way. I'll give the land the money, give the land the fifty quid. All right, you're trying to take you out. Yeah. That you know, I want to be able to look after me more. I want to be able to the fact that if she did fall pregnant that I wouldn't be worried that you know just fucking we will I'd be able to provide for the children or whatever. You do yeah, I mean I'm not saying I wouldn't say I get I'm not an emotional person, I don't think I get emotional thinking about it but 
when you when you genuinely sit down and do think about it, kind of you do get a bit like fucking. I wouldn't say emotional, but you start you do think a bit clear about the whole thing. And you're like, oh, hold on a second. You know what, Red? What the fuck are you doing? Go out and get a job and just let it go. Like, but I can't. I can't. I want it? No, I should. People tell me I should. I just can't. I can't like. <laughs> See I'm back up on the beast, I've got the knack for the rapping Racking the classics while you're yapping with your brap up brapping But I just happen to hang with the finest MCs in Northern Lyrical tour and so express a multi-syllable rhyme with clinical time And I'm gifted with the fin of the style I with conviction, ribbon addiction like a scripted the Bible It's a Bible, it the fittest, only the sickest remain You get slain, bitches, victims on my syllable game Cause my flow is overdosing all of those who chose opposing No supposing so, so cold, my foes get thrown on frozen oceans Don't get close because I'm focused and I'm heading for the top again Rockin' jams, if you got a problem then you're not a friend I'm not a train, not a phase, don't pretend you're not amazed Give me the props cause I'm not gonna stop, I'll be rockin' since them collie days I'm back up on my holidays, tearin' the fuck out of subs again My eyes on the boys and the title is mine, but it's still be mine cause I'm back again You want a track for your iPod? Back. Wanna hear a track from the mic? Back. You want rap?